Uh, thank you for watching this video. This video will show you how to set up header and sub accounts in chart of accounts. So here's your chart of accounts and we have separate uh, uh, videos deals with to how to uh, create uh, uh, new accounts and uh, uh, learning chart of accounts account types. So you may want to check it out. So this video I'll just I'm just going to focus on uh, how to create uh, uh, header and sub accounts. Okay, so in here, this is char your chart of accounts, and uh, right now there is no uh, sub accounts and chart of accounts. I can pick anyone. Before you pick, you want to make sure you don't have uh, uh, you haven't used that uh, account. In case you use it, then we have to uh, change it to uh, change the transaction to uh, uh, to sub account. Okay, let's just say I want to use this payroll expenses. You can run payroll uh, company financial here, profit and loss, and uh, transit all. And you can see here, uh, I haven't used that payroll expense account in here. Okay, so that candidate is pretty good. So go back to chart of accounts. Okay, so this is your uh, your uh, uh, header account now. Header account, and I want to create. Uh, uh, sub accounts uh, under underneath in here okay so just add new one here right click it to add to add new one you can go from here add new one control n control plus n okay control plus n and account type is expense continue okay so you want to say this one is uh, salaries And sub account of uh, payroll, which is this. Let's say I want to create another one for sales commissions. And want to make a sub account of uh, payroll expenses like this. And let's say you want a payroll taxes. Okay, the so payroll tax right here. If you got to make this a sub account, you can just right click and edit. And make the sub account of this. Pretty simple. Okay, so now you have it in here. And uh, right now, payroll taxes on top, and then salaries. And you didn't like this uh, order. So all you have to do is a little diamond in here, just move it up like this. Like this. So we'll say uh, it's not in original order. When you get this warning, all you have to do is come down here and just select a resort list. Now you should be able to do it right here. Sales, salaries in here, and you want to move payroll taxes down right here. Okay, so now you got the payroll expenses as a header, then salaries and sales commissions, and then payroll taxes. Well, then you thought, thought about it and you wanted uh, payroll taxes. Uh, uh, you want to track it a little bit differently. You want to see payroll taxes, federal and uh, state separately, or you want to make this a header of uh, header account. Uh, and uh, all you have to do now is uh, go back and uh, click new, expense, and continue. So you want to have uh, uh, federal. Payroll taxes, and you want to make this sub total sub account of this one. Save new, and we want to create another one. So this time, this is not federal, this is let's say the state payroll taxes. You want to track it 
separately. Okay, here we go. Payroll expense is the main header. And on it, you have salary, sales commission, and payroll. And you made this, uh, uh, you have another, uh, made this header again. And then you have underneath, you have a sub account. Okay, so now let's enter transaction and see how it will show in your uh, financials. All right, let's just create one check in here. Okay, uh, okay, payroll expenses. Uh, you don't want to use this uh, header account, you know, uh, and you don't want to use another header here. This is also a header now, uh, subheader, I guess. Okay, so you want to use the salaries in here. Let's say it's 1,000, and let's say it's, uh, and you want to make this one bigger. You want to see everything in here like this. Let's say another one, sales commissions. Let's say uh, two hundred dollars. All right. So let's, let's say state payroll. It's a fifty dollar. Let's say, and let's say uh, payroll taxes. Let's say it's a hundred twenty-five dollars. Okay. So you can save this. Or of course, you got to write the, uh, uh, the employee's name or uh, you know name in here. I'm just going to leave that uh, blank for now and save and close okay uh so as you can see here now if you go to reports so here we go here's your uh, salaries here's your sales commission underneath state and federal taxes it gets you like this and then total payroll expenses at 1375 okay and uh, uh let's say you know you want this federal uh you know sort it a little bit differently you want federal on top and then the state then all you have to do now is uh uh go to uh chart of accounts again and this little diamond in here then move it up so now if you go to the report profit and loss report you'll just need to refresh it yes there we go federal uh and taxes okay so uh what happens if you use this header account these two header accounts let's see what happens okay so i'm just going to use the header account now so header account one dollar and another sub header account little taxes this says two dollars Okay, and uh, so it's one dollar off. Refresh the report. So as you can see here, uh, payroll expenses and payroll expenses other in here, one dollar. Payroll taxes in here, two dollars. So so this is what happens when you use a uh, header account. In this case, I use payroll expense account uh, for one dollar and uh, payroll taxes. Uh, at two dollars so uh, if you see uh, like other in your PL so that means you are using the header account so to fix it you just have to go in there and click it again so it's a one dollar so as you can see here it's a header account you don't want to use that or do the salary and same thing in here let's say this is the federal one So now I can refresh it and run the PNL again. Here we go. You got salary and no other. So whenever you run payroll and you see 
uh, other that means you're using sub uh, using uh, header account uh, so you got to go and uh, fix it uh, so you know that's that's what you got to do uh, uh, that should take care of the uh, the header and sub accounts uh, in this video thank you for watching uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel we have two channels if you controller new QBO, Q, new QBO deals with uh, QuickBooks Online only.